are doing everything they can to shut our practice down and deny thousands of women critical reproductive health care. They prisoned me in a maternity hospital for four weeks. They sentenced me to 20 years in prison. Women's reproductive rights are the legal rights and freedoms relating to reproduction and reproductive health. Contraceptive needs are not met in the U.S. It is estimated that half of the 6 million pregnancies in the U.S. each year are not intended. About one-third of girls get pregnant in the United States before the age of 20. The vast majority of these pregnancies are unintended. Some state governments have enacted the refusal clause that permits pharmacists and healthcare providers to refuse to dispense medication, including contraception, when the use of it conflicts with the provider's religious or moral beliefs. Some employers that provide otherwise comprehensible health insurance benefits have refused to provide benefits for certain contraception and related services. What is your stance on women's reproductive rights? I think that every woman should have the right to choose what to do with her own body. Why? Because I feel that women should have access to the care that they need and they should be able to make choices about what they want to do. Why do you think there's a negative stigma around contraceptives? I think that people think contraceptives will lead to sex, and that's just not true at all because they lead to, lead to safe sex, not to sex in general. People are going to have it no matter what. It just results in safer sex and less abortion. Now, what do you think about abortions and negative stigma? That's where I think that people see it as killing a child if you get an abortion, when it's normally for the betterment of the community, of the family, it's... To people with negative views on the use of contraceptives and abortion, what do you want them to know? It's important to know that a fetus doesn't become a child until 42 weeks in the eyes of the government, and before that it's just cells inside of a woman's womb, so it's the woman's right to choose what to do before that, and after 24 weeks, it's illegal in any state to get an abortion, and 91% happen in the first 12 weeks. In the year 2014 to 2015, Planned Parenthood provided 2,945,059 birth control information services. They specifically provided 931,589 emergency contraceptive kits, as well as to help with the aversion of 578,681 unintended pregnancies. Around 31% of Planned Parenthood appointments during the 2014-2015 year were related to contraception. During the 2014-2015 year, Planned Parenthood received 43% of their funding from federal grants and reimbursements. They then went on to spend 64% on medical services. Every year, the government tries to cut funding to Planned Parenthood, a leading provider in women's health services and advocates for women's reproductive rights. It is time for this to stop. It is against fundamental human rights. To people with negative views on the use of contraceptives and abortion, what do you want them to know? Um, well, I would, want, I would want to tell people that a lot of the times when people feel the need that they should have an abortion, it's because they didn't have the choice in becoming pregnant. Um, because many times there are like, like sexual assault or rape that happen with a lot of people and a lot of times they're either too young or they're not in the right financial situation to deal with a child at that time in their life. How do you feel about the defunding of Planned Parenthood and who do you think it affects the most? Well, I think that the defunding is bad because it limits the access for women to get the types of materials or resources that they need or you know want so that they can feel safe um, so that they don't get pregnant. Um, I think it affects um, many women or people who are living in poverty. Um, I think it's around 70% of abortions are for people or women who live in poverty. So that's pretty bad. We need to stand together. We need to raise our voices and say it loud. I am pro-woman. I am pro-family. I am pro-choice. I am pro-freedom. I am pro-keeping politicians the hell out of my business. I am pro-dignity. I am pro-equality. I am pro-rights. Women's rights. 
Reproductive rights. Human rights. Join us. Join us. Join us. Go to drawtheline.org and sign the Bill of Reproductive Rights for the U.S. Visit reproductiverights.org to take action for women worldwide. Together, we can change the world for millions. And reclaim the fundamental human rights of women everywhere.